Hot to the G, G to the sky, never put her over for my wife. It's your girl Angie with the Social Medium Cast and Crew. Um, your boy D-Mac and Hippie Slick. Um, we'll post their, their thing in the description later so y'all can check them out. Um, today we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to bring to y'all. Um, we are going to start off talking about the Travis Scott concert because, because that's been one of the bigger topics out there socially um, that we have seen. What are y'all's takes and thoughts on that? After he hit gonna say that you know uh, people keep saying that they keep blaming Travis Scott and it's like you can't really blame him for you know he can not even do much you know what I mean you can do so much what he can but at the, uh, the other thing too is that nobody's bringing up is anybody was anybody taking drugs was anybody um, was anybody dehydrated when these people passed away they don't talk about that they only talked about yeah. one situation when uh, the nine-year-old, he got uh, trampled. And then there was somebody else that got trampled, too, at the gate, too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's somebody like... Somebody that they had dropped yeah. as well. That's what I'm saying. They, they didn't bring about the girl they dropped on the head. Mm -hmm. Like, what's so up with that So because it was one? the police and security that dropped her on her head, of you course know, you're not going to hear about it. Yeah, so it's just like, what's going to go more and more with the story? Because I see there's like a hundred lawsuits. Right, like hundred lawsuits. Come on, man. They done put Drake into it, saying he yeah, was Tyson Riot. Right. Come on, and then they made ever heard Drake and Tyson Riot. Even <laughs> not even that, they made him have to say something too. It's like, bro, you didn't even have to say nothing. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like you was just there to perform one song, mm -hmm. like, bro. Maybe, maybe a couple. He said, "I'm guessing." But like, come on, Apple likes Juice Nine and I said, "I'm guessing that Demon Chant is maybe a prayer." <laughs> and that's so the right key thing too. Like the Astro World was a ritual. That's where that's something that the people have been talking now. about being a theory. Um, you know, when you, when you talk okay. about conspiracy theories, okay, we can we can say yeah, maybe it was ritualistic. But if you want to look at the facts, I, I'm we'll post this as well um, within the description when we post our you know when we get off of here. But there was. <laughs> People go into the stage saying, you know, there's people dead back there. There's there's somebody dead back there. But you have to understand that there's these cam the camera crew. They got stuff on their fucking ears. They're yeah. trying to take direction from like five, ten different people in in the, the headphones. Then on, on top of that, then you got, you know, he's performing. He's there to do a performance. I get it. I do. I'm not saying that maybe everybody can do better. Everybody everywhere can do better with anything they do. But when he's it comes to security. him, he's, he's not security. That's what they are hired for. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it went from like point A to point B real fucking fast because we went from people passing out, whatever injuries happening and things of that nature. He did at one point stop the show. And then from there, we got people jumping over the fences. And then it became like a, a raid. <laughs> I... Go ahead, go ahead. No, because you just said like the greatest thing <laughs> and like that's what people are not taking into account like the crowd the crowd the people who like barricaded you can keep saying Travis Scott told them to do it <laughs> Man, there are killers that said the devil made them do it and God yeah, yeah. now all of a sudden because it's Travis Scott we want to believe look motherfuckers is listening well, I don't know. Oh, I, I always think on, I feel like anybody who's got money and who's up there and in power, they all are in some crazy ass shit in my mind. But we're not gonna speak about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking from a factual standpoint right now, all right? <laughs> That's crazy. There were a lot of people in there, but also if you watch the videos that they do fucking post. If you watch the videos, people were jumping over fences Man. and going in Even and at the out merch, tickets, uh, you feel me? I saw this video of the merch and there was people just He's jumping over, tea. huh? That's not that I was oh, I'm saying there's people that was jumping over the gate just to get to the merch. And it was just mad crazy, right. mad people that crazy. Was a very great topic. What? The water gate. The water gate? No, I love it. Oh, they let too many people in there? Yes, yeah, so yeah, she, she was probably sure to say something. Yeah, but who let the people in there? They was bowling. Right. They, they didn't well, whose job was it? Like Remember who was job? Yeah. Whose job was it? It was security, but they didn't have that many security. So how was that still on Travis Scott? Because the first yeah. incident, the first. Well, they're thinking incident. since it's his festival, he should have hired enough security. That's the thing. That's what they're. That's what they're thinking. 
they're thinking he's supposed to hire all the security. <laughs> I, okay. But think about it. If you, okay. if you do a big how many securities would you hire? Well, for 50,000 people. For 50,000 people? No, but 200, wouldn't it? Well, that's that's mainly what's what for was the max capacity people. for the venue. It was four fifty thousand people. Four hundred thousand. One hundred thousand people got in. Did another hundred thousand. I was gonna say I got two hundred thousand people were there. Yeah. He but said I'm, I'm saying, higher than military. <laughs> Ad Clapper said I'm higher than military. That's what he meant. Ridiculous. Bro, you gotta go have certain powers to hire the military service. But anyway, go ahead. No, no, I was saying go ahead. Oh. You gonna explain yourself? Oh no, that was it. That was all I was saying. It was like. Well, I was asking you if you uh, if you was doing fifty or a hundred thousand people, how many security oh. guards would you hire? Man, honestly. And you know your fans is crazy. Maybe a couple hundred. Not gonna cap. Couple hundred? Couple hundred. Okay. And listen. <laughs> that's because this is Travis Scott. Yeah. <laughs> this is Travis Scott. Like, we know what's up, bro. First and foremost, it's not because these adults is crazy. It's because there are going to be children here. And we know it. And now we know for sure. That's the other thing. We I know for think. sure. I so think. because that, let us and then... If the tickets got to be higher, too, listen, I'd rather be safer than sorry. Yeah. I would I rather pay for a higher price ticket to know that the safety is number one than be like, well, fuck it, bro. I'd rather, I'd rather the tickets be low and, you know, we take that risk. No, if you go to a festival, everybody's taking XC. Everybody's taking true. Everybody's, taking high shit. We don't fuck everybody's doing that. Yeah. So it's like, come on, man. You know, but... I get it. They don't want to bring it up because everybody's a minor. Some people are minors that pass away. Absolutely. Some of them are older. But yeah. I'm just saying. Absolutely. Like, come on now. I feel like um, people like to point blame a lot in a lot of situations. Look, definitely, definitely doing coke. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I feel like when it comes to that, um, <laughs> we as a union as a whole should be taking responsibility for a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, because, the yeah, the crowd, too. And I know that there was a, the very few people that did go, you know, and make their way. They try to make their way to the stage. Mm -hmm. They try to do certain things to let it be known that things were happening in the crowd. But, yeah. again, y'all are like, you, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that one. It's, that's a hard medium there because <clears throat> there's 200,000 people at a venue that was only meant for 50,000 people. <laughs> right. Like, I'll see the sales going up since. I've personally, yeah, he, I've, oh, he get on that. I've personally seen a few TikToks or influencers or well, they became influencers. Mm -hmm. I've seen a few videos yeah. go viral because somebody said they were in the hospital or something and were like, I was at the Travis Scott concert or leaked footage of the Travis Scott concert. Yeah. But like no one has apologized to anyone. Like no one in that crowd has apologized. But everyone I've seen from that crowd that I've seen on the internet, I'm just saying, there may be those that I have not seen that are doing the things that I'm talking about. Mm. But I've seen people gaining clout off of this, but no one apologizing for their part. Right. And people not being here. Yeah. Like, where's the responsibility for those people who were in the crowd that may have trampled on that little boy? Yeah, yeah. I do apologize for saying it like that, but the facts of the matter is, somebody out there has not apologized, at least. Yeah. And it's because no one wants to be said, oh, well, you insisted, you assisted in murder. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's really the scariest part. Yeah. No because then it's like... No one wants to be held accountable. But then we can say Travis Scott because he's rich and famous. Right. He has lawyers. And he's... That's the exactly. excuse. That's, that's the excuse. Yeah, yeah. And then it's, oh, well, in, in, in my head, I, I believe he's a demon worshiper. So that just makes me be like, okay, fuck it. His life doesn't matter because he worships the devil. Yeah, yeah. And I know that because somebody died at this concert. No. But no. what about Pearl Jam? 2000. Same thing happened. Eight people died there. The ninth person died in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Were they devil? Come on, like. I don't know. Were they devil worshippers? I mean, is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? Hey, hey, hey listen. One died in the hospital. And that's listen, listen, listen. listen. You know listen I mean? I'm just saying it's easy to look at it like that. No, most definitely, most definitely. And I just and I threw something out there just to show you the comparison, so you could go and be like, "Well, look, you just gave us a yeah, idea." You know what? Um, we y'all talking about his sales went up? Yeah, for sure. Um, that's that's that <laughs> that's the up. game. I've been trying to Absolutely. tell people forever. That's the game. Yeah. The more followers, subscribers, the he we've been talking about this man for eight, two weeks now. Two weeks we've been talking about this man on every social media platform. 
Every single one. And he's in the news. And he's went out and made his own. Oh, and every time we comment, every time we like his, every time, he's getting paid. Yeah. Of course. Of course it's about money. It's always been about money. And like he just said, because he has money, it's easy to drop the blame on him for everything that's going on. He's just going to keep making more money. Why not? <laughs> well, one of the things um, is, uh, remember his, well, I don't know if you guys know, but his shoe was supposed to drop and the Nike, they hold off on it because it was too much controversy going on, you know what I mean? But it's crazy how I feel like I feel like people are still going to buy the shoes if they would drop them. Of course. But I know what Nike's doing. The Nike's is like, Nike's smart, you know what I mean? They're trying to capitalize yeah, on it. Yeah, they don't too. got that much money from them. They don't got motherfuckers lined up every single time yeah. they drop a fucking new shoe for and no think reason. About it. And what if they had like a bunch of people lined up like this and something might happen again? It's like, damn, over Travis Scott's shoes now. <laughs> Like, <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> Could this be like a, cause I don't know, the low key did the same thing, I'm saying Nike, did the same thing with Lil Nas X. With his, his shoes personally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all his little bullshit that he said. The shoe came yeah. out, yeah. and then they try to sue him, but I feel like that, that little suit shit was kind of fake. That's, 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 that's a fact, point. see? That's, <laughs> that's what I, that's what I wanted to, to, to get there. Yeah, like, yeah. That seemed fake. Yeah. That yes, yeah, so the venue should be held responsible as well because what's the point in having the insurance? Y'all supposed to have not only security of your own as well. Mm -hmm. On top of Travis Scott having his security, his security is his security. Period. Mm -hmm. Now, who they hire through the venue is that's that's y'all's responsibility. Yeah. Period. Point blank. So y'all should have enough fucking security guards on each side of the damn venue to be able to secure the fences from being hopped over the fucking front entrances any because anything could happen at any point in time like this also from from the shows that i've been to from the the moshes that i've been to and i've literally seen people knocked out in moshes like i've seen people knocked out yeah in moshes and this has been going on for generations. Let's not just say years. Yeah. This has been going on for generations. <clears throat> Why? And like, this isn't the first time a person has died or passed out. Or, no, no, no. It ain't mosh. So I'm just like, to the point where it's like, either we stop going because they devil worship man, or, <laughs> right? Or we just start not doing too much when we go to parties. Stop stomping people out. Stop mm -hmm. punching people to dance. Like I'm telling you, it has to do something with drugs too. Think about it. If you're you know, on drugs, you're like she said, your adrenaline is going. But think about it. Drugs max with it. You're not giving a fuck. You just want to get to the concert. Like no, absolutely. you see other people jump over. You gonna jump over too. Right. Listen. You know what I mean. So absolutely. I feel like. If they see somebody get in trouble, they're gonna be like, "Oh shit, he's getting stumbled." But you know, and that's here. the that's why he's I saying mean, the crowd needs to be held accountable yeah. because I, honestly, this is where I get tired of human beings. Yeah. We do this shit instead. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh fucking shit! Yeah. Okay, I understand for the people who don't want to be held accountable for certain shit, but god damn, what the hell? You can't help that's nobody. You can't, that. and that's what I get tired of yeah. in all of our. That's not even just hey, a concert, yeah. but everything. Everything has to be recorded. Every part of your life has to be recorded. Listen, it's dead crazy, cause like they'll dead be like they'll say, "Hey, we da 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 in like the you just concert that. that you just paid for. Right. Okay. Like you just, and, and, I'm just like, and I'm not saying everybody did. I'm not saying everybody did. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, bro, like, and okay, this so, man has literally more people than he was supposed to there already. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine that's your parents' house. Uh -huh. You got more people there than you. You feel me? Then your parents come home. Yeah, yeah. You got to tell them. Party over. Everybody got to go right now. Right. Exactly. Yeah. How many parties have you had to run out of? Either they got shot up or you the police pulled up and you had to how many times have you done seen niggas fall and that's how they that's how it happened. Yeah. But that's not the case here, you know? Yeah. So but far I, I as, know what he means too, what? I know what you mean too. Like but what I'm saying, I'm getting to the point is oh, what I'm saying is, now, knowing that that's at a little venue. I said a babyest infant toddlerist in venue. Yeah. Right? That's two hundred thousand people. 
people, you want them to stop everything and just go. Mm. <laughs> no, no. What? <laughs> Think about what? That's crazy. So, um, traces of MDMA, MDMA and, coca in, and cocaine. In the contents of the river, that means you created so much into the atmosphere of this river <laughs> that you can taste it, feel it on your skin, <laughs> in the part of the river. They said that mean, they, whatever water it connects to is just in there. They said that whatever, um, that you know, those who had crazy. tested it, they said that it was enough MDMA and cocaine to actually harm the wildlife. So you know that that's a problem. You know that that's a problem. <laughs> the, it can the wildlife around it, so that means the, the fish plants. that are in the water, the plants that grow from the around the surrounding water. Like that's. Man. And if you go swimming in that shit, God forbid you get. That's what I said. New COVID um, mandates and all of that. Um, do y'all know that they've been dumping pharmaceuticals in our water for a really long time? Do, do y'all know that they've been doing that? Oh, oh they I've watched The Simpsons. Is it? I've watched The I Simpsons. Just no, this is actually something Simpsons. that they've been I doing. The, the Simpsons have actually been predicting that. That's wild. And they've been <laughs> predicting everything else, so. Can we help him? Wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, Are you He's like, I gotta react to this real quick. <laughs> Okay. Girl, I know that nigga wrote a paragraph. He did, but no, <laughs> the what he said though. Wait, he said I gotta read it. Like I keep stopping in the bro. You feel me? So the crowd can't be held accountable because they don't know each. Shows that there are no common denominator between them. So making sure others is okay, are okay is a concept only in certain few people. The other masses are only going to think for themselves. You know what? You so you show right. That is that is and that you know what's fucked up about that comment right there is that just goes to show that human beings ain't shit. Yeah, and we why they be, should be held accountable? Because that's go, not cool. Right, because the fact that nobody is held accountable and everybody gets a trophy for fucking participation is the exact reason why people think like that. Think about the uh, when they was doing all the um, uh, they was doing all the um, breaking in stores and stuff like that. Like, yeah. of course, they work nobody, together. huh? They work together. Yeah, everybody was together doing it. You know what I mean? So, of course, they're not gonna. Nobody can't be accountable for doing that because everybody's in the group. You know what I mean? Because sometimes there were security guards that was out there. They were just letting them take stuff, and they can't do nothing about it because there's so many of them. Not only that, you can't just there, stop one and then try to grab another one because another one might try to help them. Yeah. Because you know, some some people do that. Like, you ain't gonna catch my homie. I'm just gonna leave my homie like that. Hell no, nah, nigga. So I'm just saying, like, if I was security guard, I would step back and be like, look, go ahead, I'll lose my job over this. Like, I'm not gonna do it. Same thing at the venue. If I was at the venue and then I see people jumping over, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, because. Pharmaceuticals being dumped in our river yeah. is basically to say the following. Um, they've, been, they've been trying to test on us forever. Man, COVID is just another one. Hey, listen. That's They've so shown hard. improved. They've shown improved. I don't like prescriptions. I don't either. I don't take the. This is my prescription right here. This. Yeah, for sure. Nature's. Yeah. Nature's alley. Nature's alley. <laughs> but listen, I am on a health kick, so I am learning new things and trying new cultures. Hey, shout out to TikTok because y'all be taking me around the world. <laughs> Show. Done. <laughs> Show. Something just that's that to me. I feel like how you, it just don't make no sense. And it, it what's this is here it is again mass thought process and like it's not actually going to help my chances of not getting the virus or mm. not passing it on, which is the exact same thing day. that I'd be doing if I didn't have the vaccine. Just, so I'm actually really fucking confused as to yeah, how you yeah, gonna yeah, tell yeah. me. I'm gonna put something in my motherfucking body yet, man. I think I need to that's put in not my doing cart. any difference for nobody. That don't, no, I don't get it. So yeah. somebody gotta help me out I'm here. Like, you got to prove to me in some still way. Get COVID. Right, exactly. So I'm yeah, saying it doesn't sick. prevent it don't prevent yeah. you from getting sick. So it just and it doesn't from, prevent you from passing it along. It just it just prevents you from, from having dying. symptoms. Correct. You still I supposedly still they say you can huh? you still got worse, man. No, I, I I know, I know. So That's like part. So like I'm not saying that I don't believe it doesn't exist. Of course it exists. No, 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 they I'll made say, it. I'll but, say you, but when you're vaccinated I'll but, say you, but when you're vaccinated, you still do <laughs> like Nikes? 
They say you can mix and match them bitches. What type of shit is that? <laughs> like Johnson and Johnson and Pfizer. Wait. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. But can I get the concept of when we go out to eat, why do we have to wear masks to walk in? <laughs> we're we're taking our masks off. We supposedly was airborne at some point, right? <laughs> so if it was airborne at some point, then it wouldn't matter either which I way. Don't okay, so, 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 so. Do you honestly believe that somebody's gonna call at Applebee's and be like, at 342, <laughs> <laughs> Elroy Fitzgerald, 342, <laughs> Elroy Fitzgerald and his family entered your restaurant, yeah. ain't there, but we're already contracting COVID-19. Yeah. We need a list of everyone in that place at that time. That's what we are. Right. That's a lot of do you think a regular manager, yeah. do you think maybe a super manager of uh, Applebee's in Wyoming was... He says <laughs> it. I don't listen. I don't know. Some crazy, they might have a schematic. This is some crazy place. Bro, I'm saying like, bro, do you think a regular Applebee's manager is about to go look up the records for that? No. Especially not to call them and tell them that they may have code. What? <laughs> what? I feel like they were, I, the same way with, um, I feel like that with, um, damn, I lost it. They're trying to, uh, they're trying out martial law. So I will say, I'm not going to delve too much into it because, again, this is where people start looking at me crazy because I know too much shit that nobody else knows. I can't, because I can't produce facts on that because I've already seen it, they've already taken it down. So it's, you feel me? Um, that's what they were actually trying to do when Trump was in office, and people didn't realize that. When they said that they were bringing in the, the National Guard and the Coast Guard and things like that, that's what, actually what they were starting to do. When there were riots, riots, and I put that in um, quotations because that, to me, they weren't actual riots. I, I, Y'all ain't seen those, those weren't riots. What was going on in California was definitely riot. They were rioting for real, tipping over fucking cop cars and shit. So do you think that was a hoax they did, the little um, when capital thing? I feel like that, yeah, when they started produce, mass producing Black Lives Matter all over the nation the way that they did, because that's also another topic we can get into at a different time. Yeah, what's happening? Um, that, that's what they started doing, and then they pushed COVID the way they pushed COVID. I mean, COVID was already out there, but then they pushed it further and was like, all right, we're going to mandate vaccination, we're going to do this. And then because of the riots, they started bringing in the Coast Guard people who didn't realize that's what that was for. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the vaccinated, they, that, that's what they was trying to do. They have military downtown Los Angeles. See, yeah, exactly. That's what they was, they were trying to implement that when Trump was in office, but they had to switch it up real quick because Trump was doing too much for them. Um, Again, that's, that's another topic for another day. <laughs> Can't get too much into that. Yeah. the politics, man. <laughs> so what do you think? Because I don't, I don't know too much about politics, but the thing about it, I always say that I always want to get into it and learn a little bit more. But Absolutely. I feel like sometimes politics is like a rabbit hole, bro. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be lost, yeah. Especially yeah. when I be watching it, I be bro. lost. I be like, bro. what the fuck is that? <laughs> that's what, oh, that's nah. what they do. <laughs> I just keep going. Going. Yeah, that's what I said. It just goes okay. further and yeah, further and, like, and further. Like, and oh, there's just so much hey, more that okay. they, they like hide that motherfuckers don't think. And actually, really, they don't hide it. They put it out there for you to see, but people oh, don't go sure. like, looking yeah, for it because there's other shit. There's, it's not in front of you. there's The Bachelor on NBC at this time that everybody wants to watch. So, of course, nobody's going to take the time. Well, and, and, hip -hop. and what nigga do you know? And read a 50 page manuscript of some shit that says the exact same thing on every five pages. Yeah. Nobody does. No, nobody really wants to do that except for those people who are in politics already or who might want to get into politics. Yeah. I can read politics, but it's not where I want to be because that shit's just too much. Um, yeah. It's too much. Too fucking much. But yeah, stay woke, my friends. Stay woke. They've been um, they've been testing on us for a minute. Just depends on what you know, what you don't. <laughs> I believe that they pick up like homeless people off the street. They probably have. They you just ever them. you ever one day like you you go past and you see a homeless person every day and you've seen them there for a minute and ain't nothing changed mm -hmm. and then one day they just gone and it's not because they did. Yeah, you feel in your heart it's not because they did. Something happened to them. Yeah. yeah, they probably they do. And they test on people every time you go to the hospital and you go get certain checkups and stuff like that. Any vaccination you've ever really gotten, yeah. this. 
vaccine. Like, I don't believe we live in a big enough city for that. Yeah. But I do believe that happens. <laughs> there's there's sure. a lot of stuff that happens. Like, why, sure. why do you need my placenta? What do you need my placenta <laughs> for? Please tell me, what do you need my placenta? What do you need my brain stem cells for other than to oh. clone me? No, I'm good. But I don't think they just need it. I think they need I know, but less than that nowadays. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, less than that. But I believe they need less than that nowadays. For sure. Nowadays. I don't know. They've been doing this shit for a while. That's what I'm and saying. has anybody ever noticed? Uh, all right. So we go back to what we talked about last week about the fucking crazy ass doctor who made fucking vibrators. Wait, what? Oh, oh was, that, was, that, was, that, was I talking to somebody else? I swear we talked about that at some point. Okay, well, the point I was trying to make, have any of you guys ever noticed that any time that these things come up, it's always some crazy-ass doctor. And it's always some crazy-ass doctor that in the past, at that, who it's needed help themselves, right, who really needed help themselves, yeah. psychiatrically and psycho psychologically, yeah. that was like, these are where we get our fucking practices today. Like, yeah. okay, pregnancies. We're not supposed to lay down on our back to fucking give birth. We're supposed to squat. To get birth. What? Yes. Gr first of all, gravitational pull goes down, right? Why am I gonna lay on my oh, back when my pelvis is above my fucking I above the baby, basically, that. for it to come out my shit? Our native ancestors would hold themselves like this, and we would give birth like this. Yeah. This is how we would give birth. Or they'd have when you get a little bit further in time, they had birthing chairs, which was different. I and never you'd thought sit about that. When you sit forward to have babies. Yeah, not sitting forward. You're well. I mean, like you know, what I mean, you like, know, you're parallel to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about America being oh, found guilty of five counts of genocide? Uh, you know, want to know what I think about that? I think it's funny that no news network is is covering it. That's... I think it's funny that nobody of color knows, unless again you went and researched it. Nah, that nobody knows that the U.S. the United States of America has been tried, oh, excuse me, found guilty of. Yeah, absolutely. Can't say that we've been tried because the United States yeah. is a whole lot of people who have tried. And, bro, it's crazy because some of the things that were said and some of the people that were saying them, it's just really difficult to understand how this isn't more of a topic. How come most people haven't even thought of environmental genocide to where the area you live in just doesn't get crops as good. Like, yeah, okay. most people ain't even thinking about getting crops. No, because this is, know. again, this is where the governments come in and they brainwash people into having to depend on them. Yeah. Our, our ancestors, the natives that live here now, they don't have what the resources they used to have or where they used to live because they pushed them out of their homes, put them in a little per place right here and said, this is where you gonna live. And we gonna give you this much money every, every month. This is, this is why they got, this is the situation that's going on now. One of the biggest situations that I feel we should be worried about is what is the repercussions because we've already known that they've been found guilty. So once you've been found guilty of something, you have to face a punishment. Now, their punishment is supposed to be our reward. Any Anybody of the ancestral race of the people yeah. who bled and died and lived for this land to be taken yeah. and, and, and forsaken by some people who have done nothing but slander us along the way and pit us against each other either way, we go. Yeah. So, at that point, now that the, 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 the day is set, yeah. the table is set, everything's out on the table, mm -hmm. there are conversations being had, real people are talking about these things right now, and we ain't even heard about it. Yeah. Or at least I haven't found out what this conversation is. Yeah. yeah. No, because, uh, like I said, like sometimes when good things be happening, like people don't want to, they don't want to be like the one step out. Because, like I said, like when, um, like when big stuff comes out, like a, like a movie producer, when something happens to like a movie producer, nobody wants to come out and uh, everybody speaks about it. Because, you know what I mean? Like nobody wants to be inside that, that circle. Because you will get shut.
Of course. You know what I mean? They, and that's why that's why they do what they do. Because yeah. if, if the masses is looking at you like you crazy, yeah. they can easily put you in a mental asylum. Most of See what I'm saying? So or they can they can uh damage you like uh tear down your name saying that you have your mental, you're yeah, crazy. Just like what you they know, did with Cat Williams, just like what they yeah. did with MJ talking about he was touching on kids and shit. Like yeah. they did they they've been doing it throughout history and the problem is because they have so much money, yeah. and I call it old money or blood money. Yeah. Because it is blood money. Yeah. Because that's why a lot of people always be thinking like, why do these rappers don't step up for us? They got all this money. Because why they, they never they are step up for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, absolutely. Like, man, why do the rappers need to step up? Like that's the number well, they don't want to Because like, they own Why can't game. we yeah, but why can't they we educate ourselves? Well, I'm just saying they own the rap game. I know white people own the rap game. But so, I say, so 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 But so think about it, black right people now. own it too. Same thing with basketball. Black people own I'm not saying own it, but they run it. Same thing with football. If you but think about, the thing about it, yeah, it they speak true. out, of course they'll get shunned, or not even just get shunned, they'll get now probably we, uh probably traded too. Okay, perfect example. Colin Kaepernick. And then he came back, bounced back, and made a Netflix documentary. Yeah, but look so. at Kyrie Irving. Yeah, you know what it mean? depends on the time and what you got. You, you, you see what I'm saying? It depends on the time and what you got. And you see, he had white parents, Colin yeah. Kaepernick. So, and I'm not but saying at the same that. Time, who spoke up in the NFL for him? The only person that did was that one dude. Remember, he got rewarded money, and then he went back to the NFL. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying before that, who else was speaking up for him? Nobody. Right. Exactly. That's that's the point that yeah. he was getting ready to make. So you got you got to learn to take. This is going back to what we were saying earlier. You got to learn to take accountability for yourself and your actions and what you can do. What yeah. you can do, like. Uh, At the same time, Colin Kaepernick got more money. That's what I'm saying. He just came yeah. came up with the whole Netflix. Documentary. Yeah. He, 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 he got the Netflix documentary, Nike. Like I, I'm feeling like Colin came up, and that's why other four players and other people are doing their little bit to say they was on his side. Yeah. No, he's right on that one. He said, hey, when you go to the hood, why is there always liquor liquor stores in, uh, on every corner? And that's true. Absolutely. Especially when I went down south, bro. Every fucking corner. Like when we was in Alabama, every fucking corner. It was a church, liquor store, church, liquor because store. Because they church, want just, they store. want to keep you addicted like, to something. They want even to up here a little bit. They that's got why they got, look, this is why the, this, the, same thing that we was just talking about when it comes to living off of the government. They've been doing this shit again forever. They put drugs out in our in our hoods. Our hoods. We can call them hoods. They went hoods until they started sticking their nose in our shit. Yeah. All right. The, they want to keep you addicted to something that's you gonna keep spending your money on that eventually you gonna lose yourself in. Cocaine, fucking heroin, all of that shit. Mm -hmm. That's why you see it predominantly in the. Hood or our cities as opposed to the suburban areas. Mm -hmm. They just go to their lovely big ass. We even got Total Wine now and Bevmo. I don't know what any other big ones are, but yeah, those that's what you see predominantly in the suburban areas. Yeah, well, you know, as we end this, I feel as we should all take a look at what we should be able to bring to the conversation as far as what type of clarity and realism we want back from these communities. Because we should have a conversation. Yeah, no doubt. We should be a part of the conversation. It shouldn't be no closed door conversation. It shouldn't be no conversation that actually affects everybody but only a few of us get to hear it. Of course. Because this is very this is very powerful. They've been found guilty of five counts. Of genocide. They are now going through these five counts and seeing what is the best punishment, <clears throat> finding out what these punishments is, is figuring out what's the reward for us for having to endure this for generations, not only physically, but psychologically. Yeah. Emotionally, still to this day, we're still being done. In by these same situations, same laws that have enslaved us physically to now mentally. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we should still all be a part of this conversation. Yeah, and I think I think we talked about it a couple weeks back about um, them just now saying that lynching is a problem. So these are these are all things that fall into the category of what we're talking about. These are things that America's overlooked for us as a people. We live here too. This is our home too, and they've overlooked that. So this is now we are going to be seeing what the punishments are. You know that all comes into play with the cops and their 
you know, they're, what's the words I'm looking for? You know. <laughs> <laughs> heinous behavior. Yeah, thank you. They're, they're heinous behavior. You know, crimes against, it's crimes against humanity for real. Because y'all motherfuckers, they just do too much. Do too much. Too much. Yeah. Go ahead. That's my thoughts on that. <laughs> Be angry behind it. So I can't talk too much about it. I get too upset. Thank you for another episode with me and the gang. You know what it is, man. Do well and do work. Do well and do work.